In this video, we're going to draw some graphics on the screen using the Windows API. Specifically, I'm going to use something that is called GDI. And GDI stands for Graphics Device Interface. And this is basically a collection of a bunch of functions that help us draw stuff on the screen. And this is one of the included libraries that come with the Windows API. So I'm going to keep the code in this video as simple as possible. I'm not going to create any new window on the screen. I'm going to just draw straight on the screen. So the code here is not going to be ready for production. It's just going to be for fun. And the first function I'm going to use is called rectangle. And this will help us draw a rectangle on the screen. And notice that we have here a couple of parameters. First parameter is going to be the handle for the device context. So this basically tells the function where we want to draw the rectangle. In our case, we want to draw this on the entire screen. But in other cases, you may want to draw this on a specific window. So this is how we can tell the function where we want to draw it. And in order to get a device context, we need to use the get dc function. And this will help us retrieve a handle to a specific device context. And we can use it, for example, to get the device context of a specific window or the entire screen. In our case, we want the entire screen. So notice we have here a single parameter, which is going to be the handle to the window. But if we keep this as null, we'll get the device context for the entire window. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to keep this as null. So let's call this file, for example, draw.c. And we're going to start by including windows.h. And I'm going to start my main function. And notice that this returns hdc, the handle to the device context. So I'm going to copy this. And this will be our, our variable. Let's call this screen. And I'm going to call here get dc, passing in null, so we'll get the entire screen. Afterwards, I can go back to rectangle. And now I have the first parameter, so I can start calling this. I'm going to pass in screen for the first parameter. Afterwards, the x-coordinate of the upper left corner of the rectangle. That's going to be 50, for example. Afterwards, we have the y-coordinate, also 50. Afterwards, we have the x-coordinate of the lower right corner. Let's make this 500, for example. And same for the y-coordinate. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this inside of an infinite loop. So we'll keep drawing the rectangle over and over again on the screen. And I'm going to put here a slight sleep, so it won't happen too fast. Let's make it sleep, for example, for 20 milliseconds each time. Now let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to build this code using the Visual Studio Native Tools command prompt. I'm going to navigate here to my working directory. And we're going to go ahead and build draw.c. So for this, I'm going to use CL, which is the Visual Studio compiler. This will also run the linker by default. Just pass in the C file. Also, another important thing, we're going to need to pass in a couple of libraries that the linker will know where these functions come from. So I'm going to start with the rectangle function. Just go here to requirements and copy the library over here, gdi32.lib. Same thing also for the getDC function. Just go here to the requirements and copy the library over here. We can go ahead and run CL. And now if you run draw.exe, you can see we have a white rectangle right over here on the screen. Now let's go ahead and press Control c so it'll stop drawing. Now let's go ahead and change the color of the rectangle. Let's make it red, for example. So for this, I can use the create solid brush function. And all I need to do is just pass in a color, and I'll get back a brush, which I can use to change the color of the rectangle. So let's start the call for create solid brush over here. Let's call this red brush. And now we need to specify the color that we want to use. And we can also use the RGB macro and specify red, green, and blue. So red is going to be 255. Green is going to be 0, and blue also 0. Now in order to select the brush to be used, I can use select object. And I just need to pass in the device context and the object I want to use. So the object is going to be the red brush, and device context is going to be screen. So let's go ahead and do that. Select object. For the device context, I'm going to pass in screen, and I'm going to pass in red brush. Now let's go ahead and save this. And I'm going to build this again. Same line as before. And now if I run draw.exe, we can see that color has changed to red right now. So it's working nicely. Let's go ahead and press Control c over here. Let's finish off by making a simple animation of the rectangle. So I'm going to maintain a counter over here. Let's start from 0. And let's go ahead and increase counter by 10, each iteration of the loop. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add counter to the x coordinate over here. Let's go ahead and save this. 
Now if I go ahead and compile the code again, now let's run draw.exe. And you can see now that the rectangle is growing. Subscribe for more programming videos and thanks for watching.